If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. For the first time in quite a while, I've got a good solid block of Rivals gameplay for you. It's been a while since I've played this much Rivals. Um... I feel all right now, so I kind of want to get back into playing uh, a few games. So that's what we uh, that's what we're about to see. I'm actually gonna make it not that you care, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. I'm gonna make a conscious effort to do more player reviews on the channel as well and see how well they do. First one of those went up today, and hopefully I'm gonna try and spam a few over the coming uh, days and weeks. Um, Baby is way back says, uh, "Yo, that idea for Palatino and Trossard is really good. I already have both, and that would be ideal." Basically, yesterday, I was saying how it would be awesome if, as soon as you unlock them, you had, like, an upgrade system. So, score 50 goals, and he goes up by one overall, and you can choose which department or which section you want the upgrade to go on. Only, like, a plus one or a plus two or something. But, um, you know, there's, and that's just one idea off the top of my head. There's so many ideas uh, that, uh, that could be implemented, and EA just do the bare minimum. And I, I kind of get it to a degree. I think EA will do the bare minimum year on year because they know next year they need to come up with something different. So if they threw it all at us in one FIFA, they'd need to then think of something else to do next year, and people will come accustomed to the, the massive updates. So, for instance, in FIFA 20, if they launched that new objective system with dynamic upgrade so for instance you unlock Palatano and you score blah 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 and you, you get to up, upgrade him and so on and so forth if they did that for like a, a big section of players and they had loads of players in there next year you'd think right what's next what 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 next can we do and they, they need to try and match what they've done the year before so if they drip feed and give the bare minimum so they introduce rivals one year next year we get I don't know, like a foot champs thing. Next year you get objectives and so on and so forth. It's like, well, they're giving us stuff, but it's in doses so that they can keep up with the demand every year. It's annoying because we still we're not happy about it, right? But it's um, it, it does from their point of view, it makes sense. People are still playing the game. They don't need to have these massive updates and overhauls because people are still buying, people are still playing. I would argue that more people bought FIFA 20 than bought FIFA 19. More money has been spent in FIFA 20 than it has been in FIFA 19. So, you know, until until something changes like that where people completely go off the game, which won't happen because it's the best football game we have, yeah, they're not going to want to do a massive content drop, should we say. But it is a shame because the potential is there. But, yeah, we'll see. Um, Zug Zug. I love watching your content because it's always a laugh. For example, when your controller was off, just little episodes like that. Keep keep it up. Thank you. I I, I mean, I don't know. I, I could have edited that out, I suppose. And I do make a lot of mistakes, which obviously lead to um, funny moments. You know, like one episode I sneezed and I left it in. And then I ended up like, I talked to the camera. Because I, I, I'm i thinking in my head, oh, I'll edit this out. And then I just don't do it and I forget. And it just, it, it, yeah, I don't know. It's funny. Um, do you have to play three at the back also for that objective? Uh, I, I don't know if you have to play three at the back. Basically, the objective is to keep a clean sheet with only three defenders. I don't like that. Uh, that was my favourite goal I've scored yesterday because of the dummy. I'm using that a lot more now when I let the roll, the, the, the ball roll across me. Um, he didn't expect it and I didn't expect to do it and I still did it and it came off and it was fun. Um, yeah, because it says do it with only three defenders. I don't know whether you can get away with doing a four at the back formation and then using like a right mid at right back or something. I don't know. But I thought the easiest and safest way to try and do it was just to play three at the back. I've not actually managed to do it yet because I only tried it once and I failed. I think the game ended as a draw and neither of us got anything out of it. He was going for uh, he was going for goals with La Liga players or something and I was going for the win with a three at the back. And it ended as a draw and neither of us got anything from it. So yeah, bit of a bit of a waste really. But there we are. It is what it is. Uh... Moy Milestone is trash. I have Vidal, Acuna, Sissoko, and Baby Hullet already. Well, good for you. Uh, not everybody has Baby Hullet, unfortunately. Uh, I have um, I have Vidal. I could have had Acuna. I didn't want Sissoko Footmas, even though I, I could have... I Yeah, I could have done it, but I decided against it, right? I, I think Moy Gomez Milestone's card is okay. I, I think that the composure and the reactions are bad. Everything else about the card is great. 
it's not a um, it's it's not what I would call like a class one player, right? It's not it's not a player upwards of Baby Hullet and Vieira and things like that. It's not a, a guy you'd want to put in your weekend league team necessarily, but at the same time, something for you to gradually work towards if you're not necessarily at the high end with players like that. And you know, it, it's if it's good for first owner La Liga teams if you need them in the future. The problem is right. You can argue till you're blue in the face that it's good to have these first owner cards to do these objectives. The problem with it is every objective player we get seems to be only good to have in first owner teams to use towards objectives. Does that make sense? So instead of having a nice good first owner La Liga team, which I've, I've more or less built, you know, I've got like four, five, six players that are great first um, first owner La Liga players. They're only good for, for getting players to put into that team. They're not good for getting players that I can put into my, my main team. Does that make sense? They need to up their game when it comes to unlockables. Now, of course, most of the first owner objectives are icon swap based, which is handy to have. And in my opinion, uh, that's what these, these cards are good for. But they do have scope to be upgraded because at some point, when that be, I don't know, at some point, EA have said that they will be upgraded. My only hope is it's sooner rather than later because it's starting to get on a bit now and we've not seen any evidence of that happening. My fear is that uh, they won't actually do it until team of the season, which would be... Oh, God, that is going to be bad. That would be terrible. If they waited till team of the season to upgrade this Politano, for instance... Now, don't get me wrong, that Politano card, in my opinion, is brilliant. He's got... End game stamina. He has end game agility and balance. He has um, end game pace. His long shots are end game. His finishing needs up updating. His uh, passing needs updating. And his ball control and dribbling and everything in that department could do with a bit of an update as well. But at the moment, this is on par with the rest of the game, and I don't think it needs to be updated immediately. But if they wait till team of the season, this is going to drop in quality between now and then and it's going to drift into the point where you don't want to use it and then they'll bring it back for team of the season but then all these cheap team of the season cards will come out and this will be pointless so they kind of need to update this around team of the year in my opinion they need to run some sort of milestones update and then also just for a laugh they need to release other cards like this but just as objectives that get updated over time my concern with these as well is that they're just going to release an SBC that requires an 85, 86, 87 rated team and you need to include the player and you get to update him to a 90, which is going to have minimal upgrade and it's going to cost you an equivalent of an 85, 86 rated team or above, no an EA, probably a 90 rated team. So that's my concern. I just hope that they drop an objective and they say, look, like kind of what I was saying, as soon as you unlock it, the objective unlocks. But I'm kind of hoping that they drop an objective soon and they say, right, these league milestone players you've picked up, you need to go out and you need to score goals with them. You need to play games with them, you need to get assists with them and so on and so forth. And then they will upgrade over time. But I, I don't know, I, I just think it's going to be an SBC because EA are, are basic bitches and that's what's going to happen. That card, by the way... That card, if you haven't picked it up and you haven't played with it, I don't know why, because the stats are very mediocre. They're good, but they're sort of average good, right? He's brilliant. He's absolutely fantastic. I've played it game so far, and he's just phenomenal. I love him. I'm not going to replace Kante with him, of course. This is the team I was using to review Alan. Um, I threw the uh, the Real Madrid side in on the left so that we could get Real Madrid done for the milestones. I have done that now, uh, and I was just playing with these for the sake of playing with them. I like Politano, actually, a lot. To the point where I'm thinking, can I get him into the main team? I, I don't think it's going to load. No, I don't think it's going to happen because I, I can't envisage a way to get him in there and keep Kante on full chem without changing too much. So unfortunately, I, I just don't see it happening. So, I mean, I, what I would love, ideally, is to get Politano up here. Um... link him in somehow but it's just too it's too difficult it's too i mean i could maybe try and work it out with different formation changes i don't mind changing kyle walker that's not a problem the problem with it is of course is i don't want to put um i don't want a chelsea right back in there uh and i don't want any premier league french right back in there either because they're just not good enough and i also need the link to gomez so it's gonna be too difficult for me to do it i think i'm gonna have to stick with dembele for now hope that they release something i can use and use Politano in a different team. 
which we're kind of we're kind of going down that road anyway with these um, with this road to glory right now to the point where the team is and I've said it before the team is where I want it to be the team I'm happy with it I don't want to change anything apart from Kyle Walker there is not one player in that team I'm unhappy with and even Kyle Walker I get on with reasonably well so I'm happy with everything in that team it all works perfectly fine so I think we're at that point where we just need to build decent second teams and, and third and fourth teams and just work towards objectives and just try and get as many icons into the club as possible that's ultimately where I'm at with it um, uh, it's unfortunate really I mean I was watching uh, Nep's Road to Glory the other day no it wasn't even the other day it was earlier on today and he he brought up a good point where he kind of he's at the point where he he can't do anything or he can't do much you know the road to glory is kind of outdated for how easy it is to obtain the good players and the high rated cards and, and the meta players road to glory used to take so long to get to where we are right now because there wasn't such things as league SBCs, foot champs and, and, and rivals and such. We had to just take 15k for winning a division and then try and use that to the best of our ability. Even in FIFA 16, start opening some packs, shall we? Let's do the, the one rare player from the daily objective. This may lag, but it'll only lag once. Um, in FIFA 16, draft was a, a decent way to to start generating some coins and stuff. But apart from that, divisions were the only way to make make money i'm not saying those were simpler times and i'd rather go back to those times because that's not that's not what i'm saying at all what i'm saying is the road to glory is kind of outdated these days because of that now that doesn't mean to say that i want to stop doing the road to glory it doesn't mean to say that i want to change the way we're doing it right now and first owner is all but irrelevant as well because most of the team that we have right now is first owner anyway um Dembele, I mean, to be fair, we've packed a Dembele along the way anyway, so that's irrelevant. We could have used our untradeable Dembele. I'm trying to think of another player in that team that isn't first owner, and I can't think of one. I think it's just Dembele, isn't it? It is. It's Dembele. That's the only player in my team that is not first owner. And we already packed a first owner Dembele at some point, the blue one, that I ended up selling because we had one already. So, yeah. Uh, that that just goes to show that it, even if I'd gone first owner this year, I still would be with the same team. Um, I mean, you know, can, you can argue that I wouldn't be and that some things would have changed because it would have changed my mind on certain things here or there. But more or less, I'd have the same team. So going first owner at the start of FIFA wouldn't have made a difference. This is a board. It's an inform walkout. Be a banger. Don't be a goalkeeper. Oh, thank God for that. It's going to be Serge Nabry. That's actually sexy as hell that was a terrible pack and we've just got Serge Nabry's inform card I don't believe it if I packed Bauman out of that I would have been so disappointed this is a tradable pack though I think so I don't think he's worth much I think he's good for about 60k if I'm lucky but to pack an 86 rated inform out of that pack with bronzes and silvers knocking about the place as well we've done all right there Holgate is quite big as well actually because I need that for the Everton SBC and I was looking yesterday and he was going for about 2k so how much is Nabry I was saying 60k he's yeah he's around 65 that's that's awesome do we keep him or do we sell him that's the question do I need him I'm gonna review him never mind forget about it we're gonna review Nabry I love it doing reviews on this account might be the way forward for me because my other account is dead, right? I'm, I'm running out of coins. I've got a load of, of SBC players on there, but I am running out of coins. And I can't dedicate the time needed to play it to generate coins. It's not difficult to generate coins this year. We've been through that. But I don't have anywhere near enough time to play that account to generate the coins needed. So I'm going to try and do as many reviews on this account this year as possible. That might mean that the coins will fluctuate and um, we'll end up having to buy players that I'm not necessarily going to keep, but just that I want to review. And I apologize for that, but that might be the way forward, honestly. But it does mean that we'll end up playing a lot more on this account, and uh, we'll, we might be even hitting rank one here or there uh, for, for division rivals and such. So there's the positive side of it. But if I ever pack anything worth reviewing, I'm definitely going to keep him. Those two, they're big. That's big as well, actually. Three usable silvers here. I don't know if they're worth anything, so that's about 500 coins. He's about 1,000 coins, and he is about just above 1,000 coins. Not bad at all. I've decided, and I made this decision yesterday, 
I'm going to start doing every single league SPC. So when it comes to opening bronze packs, whereas before uh, the coin balance wasn't really going down as much, it will start to... You'll notice it going down a lot more, as you can see already. You will not now. You can, as you can see already, we're down to 1.1, and we're we're nearly into the just the one section because I'm spending a lot on bronze packs and uh, doing league SBCs and stuff like that, and we're not making it back yet. We will do, but we're not making it back yet because we need to build up the Chinese league, the Saudi league. Turkish and Port Portuguese league in terms of players because I'm not there yet because I, I up until this point I've been selling them whereas um, and that was obviously making my money back but now I want to try and do those leagues yeah it's going to take time but we will get there like last year we'll get um, we'll be sufficient off league SBC and we won't have to worry about coins I'm happy to keep the coins right now as well by the way I don't want to like go out and buy anyone unnecessarily there's, there's no need for me to splash the cash. Icon swaps is um, obviously giving us that, that icon... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm, I don't know. I, like, I, I need icons, right? I need to be working towards icons, whether it be coins, whether it be through objectives, or whether it be through SBCs. It's irrelevant. I need to be working toward them at some point, at somehow, some way. And icon swaps is allowing me to do that. Do I prefer the icon SBCs to icon swaps? I don't know. I, I think it would have been nice if they'd sort of mixed the two. I'm trying to think of what pack I want to open. It would have been, would have been nice if they'd combined the two. So, brought out every icon as an SBC, but also done icon swaps. But instead of having icon swaps as it is now, it would have been nice if they'd released the icon SBCs with either a way to complete them using high rated cards so you know 88 89 rated teams and what have you like they were last year but also if they could have implemented a way to allow me to complete them with tokens so for instance uh, they could have released a set number of tokens every season I mean this is a genius idea and I've literally just thought of this off the top of my head I do have to have a drink though before I die mmm Pepsi Max Cherry. It's not that great. It's all right. Anyway, let's move on. So, for instance, right, you've got your let's let's go and have a look. Uh, uh, you, you know what this looks like. I'm going to show you anyway, right? So let's go to Icon Swaps. Instead of this saying Icon Swaps, you could have just said Icons, right? They have every single icon available. Um, maybe maybe they take I don't know maybe they just do primes maybe they just do base maybe they just do mid maybe maybe they do every single one so for instance you've got Bobby Moore here right I don't know whether I don't know what version of Bobby Moore this is but let's just say they put them there they don't expire they're there for the entire thing you've got every single icon you click Bobby Moore it opens up a section you choose the base the mid the prime or the moments right whichever one you want. You then select it, it opens up and it shows you the requirements. So if you want the base Bobby Moore, it'll have, I don't know, 285s, an 86 and whatever else, a, a full informed team. And you complete that and then you get your base Bobby Moore. Happy days. Or maybe you don't want the base Bobby Moore, you open it up and you want the, the mid. You go for the mid, different requirements, you go for the prime, so on and so forth. Now, with that, you can either submit your your, 80, your 285s, your 86, and your full inform team to get the base, or you select the six token section. Every single season, which is, uh, obviously this season is a little bit different, but most seasons are between 20 and, and 30 days. Maybe sometimes they're 40 days. You know, it, it depends. Whatever, whatever they dictate their season is, they release each season between... 12 and 24 tokens each season depending on how long the season is so if you want to stack your tokens to get 100 tokens fine you can do that no problem so each icon set this is quite difficult to explain without me showing you but each icon section so for instance if i wanted the the, the moments more it's obviously going to have different sections each section i can um, each section is dictated a token amount. So, for instance, the first one for an 86 rated team, I can complete that with five tokens if I want, meaning that I can complete the rest of it 
with high rated cards if I want, or I can go and build up my tokens until I have enough to complete each section. Does that make sense? So they've combined the two essentially. I can I can half the price of my moments more by completing a few sections here or there with tokens and then another few sections with players. Easy. I mean, that's not difficult to implement. It's fun. It allows me to also open packs to get high rated cards to complete it, but it also allows me to play the game to get tokens to complete it. I can do a bit of both. Instead of that, no, they got rid of the SBCs. They put certain icons behind time walls and, and all the rest of it. It's just... It's run by people who don't play the game, and it shows, and it, it's irritating. If, if what I've just said doesn't make any sense whatsoever, I apologise. But um, I couldn't word it any better, and I'm not good enough at graphics to show you what I mean. But um, it, 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 just, it would just make so much more sense for them to do what I've just said. And it would be so much more fun, because then, like they said themselves, it would make icons far more obtainable. I'm not saying make the moment icon 12 tokens and an 88 rated team because that's too easy everyone will be running around with icons all over the place make Ronaldinho's moments card 100 tokens that's fine that's fine because guess what I'd be happy to sit there and grind 25 50 tokens and then pay the rest with an 89 88 rated team or whatever it is I'd be happy to do things like that but obviously they either don't think about it or they just don't want to do it because they think it'll be too easy we're not getting boards out of these, which is a shame. We have had Inform Nabry, to be fair, so I don't think I can complain. We do have a 50k pack to open. I'm saving that to the to the end. But uh, it is untradeable, unfortunately, so it is what it is. Um, this guy, how much are you selling for, Mon Brave? Not, uh, I don't know, maybe, could, could we get a thousand coins for him? I didn't see any below one and a half. Apparently, I didn't see any below 2k. There we go. We could we could easily get a little bit more. So let's just go for 1.8. Um, might be able to get a little bit out for him. And Locardia. Again, a little bit for him. All these cards sell. If you ever open a pack and you think, oh, I'm just going to discard it, just take the time. Go through it and sell them. I mean, every single non-rare right now is selling for 5 to 700 coins because of the player picks. Everybody seems to be posting player picks on Twitter, people are going mental for them, and people are, are driving up the price for these sort of non rares Small Prime, this is a League SBC pack. Can we get a board? Yes, we can. Can we get a walkout? No, we can't. It's okay, though. It's okay, because so long as this is 84+, plus, I'm happy. Left mid, banging, 84. I'm happy with that. Big Douglas Costa. <clears throat> I say big, he's not. He's, like, he's quite small. But still, it's a good card to get, 84 rated. That will go in toward the 84 rated team for the icon. Tomorrow, I'm hoping to have the icon complete. Um, don't quote me on it, but I am hoping to be able to get that done and get that out to you. And uh, it'll be exciting to pack Nakata or Schmeichel, I'm sure. 50k pack. I just want a board, EA, please. If you're listening, yeah, I just want a board. That's all I want. Do not disappoint me with your disappointing ways there we go i got a board i'm happy it's not a walkout but to be fair i didn't ask for one of those uruguay oh dear sent back jimenez hey that's pretty good 85 yeah i'm all right with that and that's a decent pack now it is untradeable but normally he is actually quite expensive so i'm happy with that if we can get a couple of 84 danglers in here maybe even another 85 or not uh, but no, that's that's not bad. I'm all right with that. That's the equivalent of around 11k, which you know you you can't ask for much more. I mean, you can, but you're never going to get it. So yeah, that's all right. I'll take that. 85 all day is 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 a good um, is a good card. Shall we see if these are? Oh, I'm gutted about Sydney because he's actually worth it. Ah, damn it, Sydney's actually worth a little bit. I packed Luis Felipe as my best player from a 35k pack yesterday. I'm sure. Let's try and sell him for 800 coins. Pick up what we can. Uh, Berg in here as well. Again, we might be able to get a little bit. They've they've underutilized the UCL stuff this year, in my opinion. You know, like last year with the, with the one plus. I thought that was bad. That's actually pretty damn decent compared to what they've done with those UCL cards this year. We've um, we managed to sell him for one eight. It's crazy the cards that sell for money this year compared to the ones that don't. Like you just look at them and you think, well, he's not going to sell for anything. Oh, he's three k. What? How'd that make any sense? So in terms of the SBC, obviously 6 o'clock today, we might get something else from EA. I doubt it, but you never know. 
Uh, oh, a Footmas challenge. A premium Electrum players pack. Well, apparently Footmas is still a thing. Let's see how expensive this is. 65 rated team. Don't mind if I do. I've had to use a few players I didn't really want to use. Um, I, I just, I've completely blanked that you needed Riz. Uh, so that obviously added to the expenditure slightly. But uh, it is a premium Electrum players pack. So I'm happy to take it in fairness. I don't think it'll be a bad pack. Um, so we're still waiting to see what we're going to get for 6 o'clock. Obviously you guys probably know before I do. Well you do, you will know already by the time you're watching this I'm sure. But um, tomorrow I'm hoping at least to have an icon pack for you. As well as some more gameplay because I need to play more. And if, if EA drop anything else obviously you will get that as well. We're going to end things off on a premium Electrum players pack. Not the best thing to end off with but still... It's better than nothing. We're not going to get a board. I wasn't expecting it. But if we can get something useful out of this. A couple of silvers or a gold from a team that I need to complete a league SBC or something. I will take it. That last year would have been good. This year not so much. Absolutely sod all in there I can use. But it is what it is. I mean to be fair. Bologna player isn't terrible. And uh, the Frankfurt right wing back isn't terrible either. But I'm literally just looking for the silver lining. If you have enjoyed today's episode. Do me a flavour. And hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index, the game changed. Download the app now.